Hi, this is Dominique Finney and I'm at the National Herbalist Association of Australia Sydney Seminar Series and I have Karen Latter with me who's a practitioner from Manly here in Sydney. Hi Karen. Hello, how are you doing? Uh, great, how are you enjoying the seminar? Yeah, it's been great actually, a yeah, really good mix, good mix between science and tradition which is, yeah, this is excellent. Yeah. Fantastic, now can you just tell me a little bit about yourself? Yeah, of course, um, I'm a, a naturopath and a herbalist and um, I've been practicing now for probably Oh, I kind of lose count, but maybe seven years, mm -hmm. um, maybe, maybe a bit longer actually. And I'm very interested in nutrition and whole food nutrition as well, as well as herbs. Mm. Yeah. And um, do you have a favourite herbs? Yeah, one of my favourite herbs is lemon balm actually. And I, th I think that's probably because it's so accessible and so easy to grow. Um, and just like its name suggests, the fact that it's you know balm, it's so soothing and reduces spasms in the gut and it's really calmative. Um, and also, it's not only just the effect it has on the gut, but also the effect it has on the brain. The fact it actually helps, you know, relax the brain and calm. So you've got that beautiful gut-brain connection, which is, um, you know, so important. Um, and I suppose some of the other things too, so it's not just that, but there's some really interesting research which is coming up about improving mental cognition as well. And actually helping, you know, there's some suggestion it can be help, helpful in something like Alzheimer's. Mm. Um, so that's, you know, really, you know, fabulous kind of research. Um, and then if that wasn't enough, if those things weren't enough with the gut and the brain and the way it works and mental cognition, also it's antiviral and, you know, topical antiviral effects. Mm. And the way it will work on a cold sore or, you know, on any type of herpes virus really effectively mm. too. So beautiful mm. herb and it's something that people can pick up at growers markets or you know your your local um, you know garden centre. You can even get your lemon balm. Grow it in this you know grow it in your garden. If you don't have a garden, grow it on your balcony, and um, you can grab some leaves, put it in your smoothie in the morning. You can you know put it in some tea. It's it's a really easy easy one for people to use. Great. Do you ever use the lemon balm herbal extracts? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I put those in my in a mix if I'm making it up for a patient. Mm -hmm. And yeah. what kind of um, symptoms would you use that for? Yeah, well, IBS. Like I see quite a lot of people who have got IBS. Irritable bowel syndrome. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like a. a a spastic colon or you know just basically whole or that stomach is kind of irritated and upset so um, I use it a lot for um, digest, you know, digestive mixes. Okay great and um, what kind of um, work do you, what's your favourite sort of ailments to work with? Um, well I mean all sorts really, um, women's health especially, I'm, I'm really interested in women's health um, and digestive health as well but I, I mean I end up seeing all sorts of different patients, you know, different patients with different symptoms in clinic. Great, so um, how do people find you? How do people find me? They find me at Sydney Health and Fertility, um, which is in Manly, uh, clinic in Manly. Great, and do you have a website? Um, yes, I, yes we do, yeah, it's www.fertilityhealth.com.au. Lovely, and um, how long have you been a member of the National Herbalists Association? About three years now, I yeah. think, yeah. I, I didn't join straight after graduating, but I'm, I'm very glad that I did join because I'm certainly one of the most active organisations and really good to be a member as a herbalist as well. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Karen. Yeah. Pleasure.